Hey, Adrian. Hey, Doug. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Just uh, about to enjoy this. I know. A little glimpse of the future. This is Earth Defense Force 2017 that came or, out. Or is it a glimpse of the past? <gasps> it came out in 2007, so this predicted 10 years into the future. But Adrian, uh, this is kind of a well-known and also not well-known game. Uh, the reason why it's not well known is that uh, it's Earth well, Defense Force. when you take a look at the cover, it Select looks like it should be priced at five dollars, mm -hmm. and it probably should be. But at the same time, it's probably the best five dollars that you could spend. <laughs> so this game, uh, wait, wait, better than Garage Band? Yeah, better than Garage Band. Uh oh. So we this, don't even need new music. <laughs> <laughs> this game essentially is like a 3D version of games that you played back on the Super Nintendo and the Genesis, where you play as a guy, you fight monsters, and you use crazy weapons along the way. So, scrolling through this list here, there's literally 50, 53 missions, and uh, 5 degrees of difficulty. And there's kind of a loot aspect to this game too. So if you play on the harder difficulties, you can pick up, uh, you know, rarer weapons if you play on the easy one. Um, you can try to get to the later or levels that'll give you different weapons anyway. So it's kind of nuts. Um, so we'll play on a uh, hard. Nah, we'll play on now, normal. Out of 53 no missions, though, is there any sort of like? Do they start to get repetitive after a while? Oh yeah, after the tenth one. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, it's one of those games where you're not going to sit down, or you shouldn't anyway. You shouldn't sit down and play this for four hours straight. This is a game that you should pop in and play at an hour max, maybe with a friend, and that's it. So you'll see so here. So it is co-op. You'll see why I say it's five minutes. As you'll notice, all the people are popping in. The graphics, Awful. while look. You know, there's, it's, it's, there's a sense of scope there. So this entire game, you're fighting against aliens. And you're also fighting against uh, big old insects. So it's basically stuff that they got like at a garage sale, I'm assuming, of just hard assets. And, hey, we'll buy that ant model. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it, it's really on the same level as that. There's no bones about it. This game is not trying to say, hey, we're better than Halo, we're better than Gears of War. It's just a fun game it's, to pick it's up just, and play. It's just, hey, listen, you know, do you like shooting bugs? Do you like shooting robots and aliens? If yes, then maybe you should try this game. <laughs> I think right now it probably goes for like maybe 10 bucks, 5 bucks, something like that. And if you haven't played it, I would I would say it's worth it. The controls are weirder than hell, though. <laughs> is, th is this game you haven't played, and for good reason, or a game you haven't played that well, you Well, look should? at it right now. Look at my character's ass. That's... He just walked through the other guy. Yeah. That collision detection is really good. <laughs> See, but the thing is, though... Ooh, you can destroy all the buildings in the game. <laughs> it's so like, that's kind of dope. It's like mercenaries. <laughs> But See, better because they, that game was horrible. They just took down the bridge uh -oh. and trees. So uh, this game's kind of yeah, it's kind of awful, but in a good way. And there's also like a uh, Mexican uh -oh. pilot uh -oh. and everything. Oh, the whole thing came down. So this is the first level. I've uh, kind of forgot how to play this game. Left triggers to jump. If that's <laughs> any notion of how the controls are. So, whenever you hit anything, they just kind of fly in the air. There's absolutely no physics engine. And, um, yeah, that's kind of it. Right trigger, right trigger shoots, left trigger jumps, uh, LD, nothing, click the stakes. They don't, this is maximum speed throughout the entire game. So, you don't lose any points for shooting the uh, buildings at all. Uh, mostly, just don't die. And this game can get freakishly difficult. Like right now, this is the first level with some beefed up weapons, and I, I'm just tearing it up. But you see these things down here? Armor is kind of like your health pickup. Okay. Up. Okay. And uh, you also get uh, health right over here as well. But this is what you're after weapon. So this is where the whole loot aspect comes in. So in this game, you try to kill as many of these uh, aliens as you can, pick up the loot, take it to the next level, and sometimes you re will be replaying the same mission over and over again. Is it are like certain missions like extremely difficult? Yes, without a doubt. So I'm just kind of showing this one off. Uh, since it's pretty easy, I'm trying to relearn the controls. So if you press forward and you press the left trigger, you jump. But if you go and left twist, and right. yeah, left and right, you do this. And some missions you're doing this the entire time because you're trying to find uh, pickups. 
So, um, you also have squad mates over there, and they're just extremely cheesy, and they only have about three lines of dialogue where they're either congratulating themselves for killing an alien, or they're all screaming to go home and see their loved ones, because the mission's, you know, just about over for them. And, um, just like any other good game with that as loot, uh, all the weapons have different stats. So, for example, this one, you just get 10 shots of just concentrated missile damage, and I switch over my fast shooting one. So whenever you take a mission, you kind of either want to choose like a fast shooting one and also an explosive one. That way, if you're far away, you can use the crowd control, and this one's just kind of, you know, in case things get a little bit dicey, you need some with a lot of ammo taken down. Please, please, please tell me this wasn't a game you just like had to go buy when it came out, but like... Rather, you were at like a friend's house and they were playing it and you were like, oh, it was fun for five minutes. I might as well pick it up for five bucks. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I played this game for about 15 hours. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, hours. Listen, I bought the game when it was $20 and I had a lot of buzz on the internet just because it was stupid fun. And I think that was four years ago, I think the same thing applies. I mean, the graphics probably look even worse now, comparatively, <laughs> against stuff like Far Cry. But I mean, what other game allows you to just shoot big-ass aliens, take down buildings, robots, and have loot on top of it? I mean, so it's <laughs> kind of the same ingredients that Borderland has, although, obviously, this doesn't have the production values. You know what I mean? So the mission's <laughs> over, and then that, that's kind of it. The... Uh, the uh, scenarios don't really get much more difficult than this. You just kind of run around and shoot the alien. So, yeah. you know, it's a very simple game. You can play uh, split screen, and they don't. Uh, um, I would imagine split screen is significantly easier. Uh, yeah, this game can get pretty raw dog pretty quick. I don't know. It's just something about you know just going around shooting aliens. There's different aliens that come around. Like, there's spiders, and they shoot web at you, and they trap you. You have fire ants that spit acid at you, and they're extremely so like, difficult to kill. It's like some special troopers, huh? Yeah. I mean, that's... Uh-oh, what's that guy doing? Tumbling around? No, yeah, but like I said, there's no weight. After you kill them, they just bounce around like crazy. <laughs> they just... <laughs> <laughs> he just disappeared! Yeah. <laughs> And, like I said, I'm not defending this game as saying, oh, it's, you know, it's the ultimate hidden gem, but I think for 10 bucks, you can do a whole lot worse, you know? <laughs> you can get the Madden 2006, or you can get this, that came out in Japan in 2006. <laughs> I personally picked this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, you can do a lot worse for 10 bucks. Yeah, I, you know. <laughs> You could so, do a lot better, but <laughs> yeah, you could do a whole lot better now. You know, Super Meat Boy, I think, is ten bucks now. Yeah, hold on, this mission. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's that's basically the extent of the game. You know, uh, there's not much else to say. I will show you a more difficult mission though, just because I think some of the enemy designs are kind of neat. If you if you had to when you first played the game if you had to give it an out of ten rating what would you say I'd say a seven for the amount of enjoyment that I got to cost ratio so here's what I mean when I talk about like different weapons and it, it's kind of like this essentially mm -hmm. you just scroll down your list it tells you how fast they shoot how much damage it does per second stuff like that I forgot entirely what gun I even had, so this is not good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go with that one. And then, then you get to pick your rocket launcher, so I personally like the volcano. And there's grenades, you got your special weapon, and some of these are really terrible and some of these are pretty good. So I'm just going to stick with that. What was that, that what was that one game that was kind of like that? I think LucasArts made it, I think it was called Fracture. Did you ever play Where that? Where you could lift the ground up and yeah. down. Yeah, and you could like shoot the gun at the ground and the shark would come out. <laughs> oh no, that was, uh, I want to say armed. Armed and dangerous? Yeah, I think that's what it was. It looked it pretty It was neat. one or the other, I don't know. But yeah, it, I mean it looks quirky kind of like this, but I've never, I never played that one. Right, let's, let's bring out the robots. <laughs> oh, they are. And then you have to go underground too. Let's go here. Let's just see what happens. Let's get let's get wild. This will be the last mission. Can you change the controls at all, or 
No. No. Uh, <laughs> this game is twenty dollars and it's a hard twenty dollars. Like if they charge twenty one dollars, I would never have bought it. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Twenty dollars after tax, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to special order it from Amazon to avoid the sales tax. Super Super Saver, what is it? The Super Saver? Super Saver discount? Yeah. So I bought a bunch of uh, lasers or something. See, so it's just, it's just this. You know, it's crazy. I don't know. As a kid, I don't know if you do a lot of uh, robots or army men and stuff. This is essentially the same quality of design that you probably drew, except <laughs> that it brought to life. You know? Now, um, just, if you're near one of these robots when it blows up, you get caught in the big fireball. Uh, let's find out. It's been a while since I played. In fact, I forget when the last time it is that I beat it. Because the thing about this game is that when you beat it, make sure you stick to one difficulty. So, for example, I bounced between normal and hard difficulty, and because I did, I didn't get any achievements for beating the game. You have to beat the game on. You have to beat every mission on one difficulty type to receive the achievements associated with it. Now, is this available on any other platform, or is this an Xbox exclusive? This is an Xbox exclusive. They have made other games in the series, um, and they also like a Wii game. Well, they also made a uh, they made a sequel to it, but it wasn't made by these guys. Uh, this is a uh, Japanese studio. Uh, according to the cover, it's not D. Is it D three? Sandlot, something. Anyway, um, so they had an American company that they technically made a better game, but because it was better and it costed, it cost more, but it was barely better. It was not the same kind of dumb fun, even though it had all the right elements of aliens and uh, robots. So, yeah. well, yeah, let's, let's, let's take it to it. That's a small jump. Sometimes you get hit and you fall for a while. There's no fall damage. Nope, no damage taken. <laughs> this, this game does not bother you with all that petty stuff. It's just, <laughs> do you want to shoot robots? Then pick the biggest gun that you like and take it to them. That's really it. So, uh, I don't know. If you're, if you're near, if let's say he's near the overpass or something, you bust up the overpass, can it fall on him? Or? No, it won't damage him. It won't damage me. Like, I just walk through everything. <laughs> Once something is broken or dead, it no longer has any sort of physics. I don't, you're expecting too much out of this game. Like, one of the, one of the things that's awesome about it is that it's just straightforward. You know, there's, it, it is what it is, you know? Four games maybe should be like this. <clears throat> yeah, I wish this had some terrible, uh, terrible. Uh, what the hell is that gonna say? Some terrible collision detection. No, it already it has plenty of that. <laughs> and pop in too. Like, how would anybody be able to get into this car? This, like, the entire Earth Defense Force is nothing right. but just like Yao Ming. You've won. You've won there, Doug. But yeah, so Earth Defense Force, uh, game that you probably haven't played, probably shouldn't play, <laughs> but from what I've shown you, look kind of crazy, then yeah, play it. I wouldn't mind playing like another full 20 minutes of this, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Adrian, that's it. Any additional questions? The multiplayer plays exactly that. There's no other mode. There's no Xbox Live mode. There's barely gameplay, but at the same time... <laughs> That's it's a damn good game. A game that I played for over hard hours. 17 hours nearly. Earth Defense Force. 2017. Catch it. Hey, well, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll go check it out. Oh, no, we, we already did. did. Maybe, well, maybe they'll go check it out. All right. <laughs>